Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Ragget and welcome to update 10.2. It adds a filter and a range feature to talent orb storage. You can filter it, oh my goodness me. This is what I want for cat fruit storage. Easier than swiveling to make the cat fruit eventually form mounds that you then have to check to know the amount of the individual ones anyway. It would just be nice to have a table with the information on. And it looks like that's what's going to happen with talent orbs. So fingers crossed that we can get that for cat fruit at some point. Hold background on talent orb storage to rearrange availables for easy viewing. Well, that's fine. That's the same as a cat fruit one. I don't mind a fancy feature like that. It would just be nice to have the intuitive, simple one there. The battle UI has been improved for smartphone screen with a notch. Very nice using the available space. Unfortunately, I'm not bourgeois enough to have a smartphone with a notch, so I'm not going to be able to find out anything about that. Third form's talents added to certain units, so that's usual. Talent orb slots added to all cats with talents unlocked. New legend map as usual, new user rank rewards as usual, and miscellaneous bug fixes as usual. Well, let's open the game and find out some more. What's that? What's that? Is that a battery? I think it's replicating my battery, you know? That's a bit weird. It kind of looks like a little pull handle for your notification screen, the bit that's coming down here. I don't know why that's there, but by heck, it's there. Oh, hang on a minute. It's still there. Not the flipping shining spotlight into the game. That That's not intended, surely. No, it's still there at the top of the game. Either my iPad's having a bit of a fit, or there's some form of bug there. Anyway, 57 million downloads, celebration, new update, reward. We know it, we love it, thank you very much. And of course, our new informational X-Screen. Yes, it's an X-Screen because it's extremely urgent. Urgent. A message from Ponos. So looking at this informational screen again, we still haven't got it as a big old scroll event. I feel like that's a shame, but I will keep waiting. This certainly looks well organized. Event, capture, 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 event, collab, collab, clear colors, and then new, indicating when there is a new event. Although, saying that, I'm not entirely sure how the chronology of all this is supposed to work. But it looks a bit haphazard. We've gone from December last year to today to before today, and then back to January again? Other things don't change as well. I've been caught out by what I thought was such a fantastic feature and, you know, is in essence being able to go directly to the outbreaks, but the button's still too far to the left. I'm just minding my own business and just flipping end up somewhere else. Oh my heckin' goodness, mate, it's a lucky ticket stage. It's a lucky ticket stage. I tried to do a long press on the button, but it's just, well, it's, it's highlighted these pictures. Hmm. I can move to it on the billboard style thing, but I still can't enter it. What do you want from me? Can I just look at the update, please? There we go. It's very nearly too much to ask. So, we're going to talent orb storage. Going to the true forms. The cat talents are on figure skating cats. Oh, goodness me. And tin cat. The talent orb storage. Merge okay. Ah, I see. So I guess that's stuff that's exactly the same. So it's easier than looking at stuff at a glance. This menu, actually, is lovely and very similar to how I imagine a cat fruit menu. A nice bar up here, where I'm moving the yellow cat fruit, will tell us so that I don't have to... Oh, 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 find a gap. Yep, yeah, no, move them out of the way. Right, okay, swell, 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 swell. Oh, I still don't know how much of each I have. So, rank. Oh, well, I like the little, the slight wipe of an animation there. You know me and user experience. Look at that. Trait. Oh, look at that. Very nice. I think it's also very impressive how it managed to be clear without having a border around it. Well, that's all lovely. I, I like that very much. That's very nice, sleek storage. And I'm tap, tap, tapping at the window. Ah, I thought it would be an XP problem, but I, I didn't envisage that I wouldn't have enough to actually physically evolve it. Anyway, the true form is Flight Unit REI. True form evolution gains improved attack speed and defense versus floating enemies is improved from tough to insanely tough. It was already pretty fast, but I guess that would be what you're using it for. I mean, we like speed. Maybe I can incorporate it into my lucky ticket strat if we ever get the flipping XP and cat fruit to be doing it. Let's have a look at Slapstick Cats' talents then. Weaken. Gain the weaken ability. Immune to knockback. Oh, heck. Resist slow. 
defense buff and attack buff. I think they are all beneficial to the assumed purpose of slapstick cats. You could make that pretty hacker. I could use it as a sort of super anti-relic unit, especially if I'm not going to use the very little Elder Cat Fruit that I have at its nice rounded two or three to true form things like the Stories of Legend Legend units. I see promise in you two. Not that you were bad to start off with. All right then. Tin Cat, let's have a look. Ooh, dodge ability, immune to knockback, resist curse, defense buff, attack buff. I'm not so clear on that one. I'm sure it could be beneficial, but I don't know what you'd necessarily repurpose it as. I'm really honestly just trying to get to the update menu and I've been put to the wrong menu so many times and these buttons at the bottom are so inappropriate for a mobile device. I literally cannot get back. <laughs> to go out of the menu, go back in, just trying to get my sieve-like memory to remember the next thing about the update, and I just honestly can't- It's not- not clicking on Uberfest! Ah! Let's do a lucky ticket stage to calm me down. I think that's- that's what I need in my life. Oh, I like it, I like it. The school background, but it's like names on a board and- and a bloke. <laughs> it is such a wonderful feeling to finally be seeing a lucky ticket stage again. I absolutely adore the fact we have it again. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to question this, although horrible, horrible, blurry, low definition, and for a new enemy that's pretty unacceptable. I really like the animation of the blushing. That's nice. Why so low def though, Ponos? Why so low def? Oh, we got tribal theme instead. Quick, 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 Queen Piggy. Did he just say piggy rather than peach? The word he uses but gets wrong every time. Cat Army's day off. We like a day off. I do have too many though, to be fair. Oh, oh, I see it now. The the peach is upside down. Great. Oh, it's the guy. I can't even remember his name. Gory variant 456. Still, great fun though. Bringing old things back to this and creating like a Battle Cats High School cinematic universe. I'm all for that. God dear, that accent's definitely trouble. I'm gonna need to formulate some kind of epic strat for this. I just sincerely hope that it doesn't end up being like Slimy Stallions, where the final stage takes invariably at least a minute, which is just not convenient for lucky ticket farming. I'm sure there are much faster ways to do it. And that maglev double hit was very nice indeed. All right then, I guess that's version 10.2. Looks like it's highlighting to us the start of some exciting developments that could develop into more cleanliness and structure for the design of the game, which is, as you probably know, for me as a non-gamer, possibly the most important thing to me. However, there are still glaring problems of that new announcement menu. There are glaring problems with the hole in my memory where all knowledge of the update seems to sink. But I don't think that's Ponos's fault. <laughs> I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed.